the mechanical wristwatch. It keeps our lives running on schedule. So how does such a tiny machine keep perfect time no matter what we put it through? Beneath a transparent sapphire face, over 100 precision components make this machine tick. A paper-thin spring is the powerhouse. 12 wheels are laser cut with accuracy thinner than a human hair. 25 shining jewels keep the wheels turning smoothly for over 100 years. And at the heart of the machine, the escapement keeps a precise rhythm. A design so effective, it's survived unchanged for centuries. Today's mechanical wristwatches run without an electric battery and don't need winding. So where does the power come from to keep them ticking all day long? Watchmakers at one of the world's most innovative watch factories craft every one by hand. Powering a watch without an electric battery is a huge engineering challenge. The secret lies in an intricately wound spring, a mechanical battery. Okay, so this is the main spring, which is the component that provides the power to the watch. Uh, it needs to be wound up. Rob has trained for six years to become a watchmaker. His challenge, coil a 24-inch long strip of hardened steel over 20 times around this winder to form the spring. So the mainspring, so you can see that incredibly long, something that's going to fit inside a, a case about 42 millimeters wide. There's so much tension in the spring. If you slip, then it can explode. Rob needs nerves of steel to squeeze the spring into the barrel that holds it in place. One slip, and it could blow up in his face. I saw a barrel explode in uh, one of my tutor's faces. I still have visions of uh, a jagged cut that he had all the way up his arm. If the spring unwinds before he can secure it inside the barrel, it's game over. Okay, so that's the barrel totally assembled. So that is effectively your mechanical battery.